Yeah, it's it's the from what I understand the SC joint and then um, the first uh, a dislocation of the first rib, and um, that's that's more of the scary part because I guess if it goes in the wrong direction, it can puncture uh, the aorta. So that that's that's more of the the issue I think. That that's that's probably the more painful part. It's to play with this caliber of team. You know that gives me comfort understanding who I'm going out there with. You know it's it ain't the bad news bears. You know so. That gives me comfort understanding that the playmakers we have around me. So we'll see what happens Sunday night. Byron, so you started 49 other times. It, but it's, it's a lot different when you know ahead of time as opposed to maybe a short time before the game. You have time to prepare. Yeah, it's always better when you can prepare, especially when you're the backup because you never get any reps. And to have an opportunity in a week to prepare, that, that will help. That will help. We understand we got a tough opponent coming in here Sunday night. We respect those guys. We know they're going to come in here ready to play. We got to make sure we're ready to play. And we'll see what happens. As Byron Leftwich says, this ain't the bad news bears, but it's a Pittsburgh Steelers team that is without their $100 million starting quarterback, number seven, Ben Roethlisberger. Allen Robinson, Mark Aboli, I am Justin Labar, and what has been a chaotic week all the way from the ugly Sunday win, or Monday win, rather, against Kansas City. Now, of course, to the fallout of the Ben Roethlisberger injury. Let's just cut right to the chase. Mark Aboli, I'll start with you. Can the Pittsburgh Steelers win without Ben Roethlisberger? Well, absolutely they can, but you don't want to. The thing with the Steelers are I think they'll be able to be fine in a short-term basis without Ben, but you don't want to go throughout the season rest of the year without him. So short-term, he's fine. He's like he's like a, a bench player in baseball. You can get If you put him in the starting lineup, a bench player in baseball, eventually he's going to show some flaws. I think that same thing goes with Byron Left, which eventually will show some flaws. But overall, I think there's no no reason why you don't think they can beat Baltimore this week, and I think they'll be fine in the short term. Alan, we don't really have any timetable. We don't really even have much precedence with this injury. Can the how does this change the Steelers? Are they still a playoff team? Yeah, I didn't cover rugby back in 1998 when Ben Roethlisberger says their last was an injury like this. Uh, can the Steelers win without Ben Roethlisberger? Well, actually, they're nine and five by my count without him. The trouble is they're zero and four against the Ravens, and the Ravens aren't going to show ain't, as in, to, to paraphrase ain't going to show no sympathy for the Steelers. Uh, there's a reason why Ben Roethlisberger is probably one of the best four or five quarterbacks in the league, and that's the reason why he's playing. You'd be asking this question if the Ra- if the Patriots didn't have Tom Brady, if the Broncos didn't have Peyton Manning, if you were a Bron- you know if a Broncos fan, you were a Patriots fan, you would be a lot more concerned. And if you're a Steelers fan, you have to be a lot more concerned. Now this guy is a franchise quarterback having his best year, and now you're looking at the possibility he he will not only miss the first Ravens game but possibly the second Ravens game too. Well, and plus you gave the the, the great statistic about uh, how well the Steelers have done actually without him. But that, I think all all those games without him, they also had a, a defense. I think people would consider it was a little more consistent, a little more effective. Uh, than they won than the one they have currently uh, this year. Predictions? You called it as a close game last week, Mark Caboli. Steelers and Ravens Sunday night football at Heinz Field. What are you seeing? I think you're going to have to rewind your computer right now. Hit the little cursor back and forth because you're going to have to see this. Steelers relatively easy this week, 27-14. Over the Ravens. Over the Ravens. I know you're a Baltimore fan. I am not a Baltimore fan. I grew up in Maryland. I am not a Baltimore fan. Email him and tell, try to make him a Steeler. He's a Baltimore fan. Maybe an RG3 Redskins fan. Alan, what is it going to be? Uh, you talk about the uh, defense has always been a, a, a big deal in these games, and, and the, you know, the Ravens Steelers games obviously are a different animal than you, you see most of the time in the National Football League. Very physical, low scoring games. I think five of the last six games have been decided by three points. So why should this game be in any, any exception? 17 14 Ravens. There you go. Whether you agree or disagree, it's fun to watch and listen to. Follow them on Twitter. Read them in the Pittsburgh Tribune Review. Follow them on TribLive.com. TribLive uh, Radio, all that and more is where you can find all your Steelers coverage. For Allen Robinson, Mark Caboli, I am just. It's only 50 cents. <laughs> 25 in some places. Yeah, okay. Yeah, a bargain by any standards. <laughs> and the Internet's free. Oh, kind of. Justin LeVar, Allen Robinson, Mark Caboli. We'll see you.